All right, here's another log equation. And so in order to solve this equation, we're going to have to first combine the logs on the left and even condense it on the right a little bit. So let's do that. Remember when I'm adding two logarithms that have the same base, I can multiply the two um, arguments. Sorry, couldn't think of the word. I can multiply the two arguments. These are called arguments right here, what you're taking the log of. And then when I've got a two in front, I can bring it up top and make it like that. When I do that, now that allows me to get rid of the log. I'm really exponentiating with base E from both sides, but either way, it's going to get rid of the natural logs from both sides. And now I'm going to foil this out. Uh, whoops. Plus x minus 7x minus 7 equals x squared. Now I'm going to add like terms. Negative 6x minus 7 equals x squared. So x squared minus that. These x squareds cancel out from both sides. And now I can solve this. Negative 6x equals 7. Negative 7, 6x. Now, when you get this answer, don't just write it down and think you're good. Check it. And in fact, when you do check it, you're going to see right away, as long as your calculator is not allowing for complex solutions, you're going to see that there are no real solutions. So this does not actually have a solution. This particular equation, the red equation at the top, does not have a solution because when you try plugging in a negative into the argument of a of a logarithmic function, you get no solution. It's not it's not in the real number system. If you were learning about complex numbers with logarithms, just like you had the square root of a negative number, you used i instead. You can do the same thing with this, but we're not doing that. And so your answer is no solution. Okay.